Scientists across the state warning that a chemical from tire dust poses a major threat to coho salmon. And right now, environmentalists and state leaders doing work to track this pollutant and find some solutions. Abby Oconee is here in the studio. So, Abby, what's going on with this? Yeah, so it took two decades for local researchers from UW, WSU, NOAA Fisheries, U.S. Fish and Wildlife to figure out that a chemical called 6-PPD quinone was responsible for killing salmon in urban streams. This contaminant targets coho salmon, a population that is at an all-time low in Puget Sound. This is video of coho salmon struggling in its final hours. And they just expire. Jacques White is the executive director for Long Live the Kings, a nonprofit that works to protect Northwest salmon. He says this discovery about tire dust, specifically a chemical byproduct from a preservative on car tires, is a game changer. This is the most important finding in salmon management and recovery in the last 20 years, hands down. Tire manufacturers say they hadn't known 6 PPD quinone even existed. However, its parent chemical compound, 6-PPD, is touted as a critical safety feature in car tires. Without 6-PPD, tires are more quickly attacked by ozone. Here's how all of this works. When it's rainy like it is in this particular moment, the chemical from that tire dust, it washes away before gushing into drains like this one, finally running into local creeks and streams. The U.S. Tire Manufacturers Association tells Fox 13 News they're working on it. USTMA says it's, quote, concerned about this issue and committed to understanding and minimize the impact of their products on the environment, unquote. USTMA says it's also researching to find a potential alternative. We need tires on our cars and stuff, but we also need to make sure we're doing it in, like, environmentally safe way. People we interviewed in Seattle say they had no idea that something as common as tire dust was hurting salmon. I hope they survive. I mean, yeah. I mean, what else can you say about that? Scientists with UW Tacoma and WSU Puyallup first made this discovery about a toxic chemical in tire dust at the end of 2020. Since then, researchers, policymakers, and activists have been looking for partial solutions, including things like these biofiltration systems, where plants, rocks, and organic matter scrub out contaminants before the runoff flows into local streams. But activists say a tire without toxic chemicals would actually Actually solve the big source of the problem. So trying to think of ourselves as part of everything that's going on and then being careful about what we do. James Rasmussen is a member of the Duwamish Tribal Council. He says collaborating on issues like this are key and emphasizes that caring for salmon is about caring for the entire region. Because just as the salmon are suffering, so do the communities down here. We have to try to take all of those things into consideration. So USTMA says it will provide tire samples to scientists to help them research 6-PPD. The association is also part of a global task force, organizations from other countries, all with the goal of learning more about this deadly chemical on tire dust. We also want to let you know about this. You still have just a couple more days left to sign up for Survive the Sound. Here's how it works. It's a fish migration game. You can join a team, pick a fish, and then track it through the migration to see if it survives the journey from the sound to the ocean. A little less than 10,000 people have joined, and we want to see you sign up. So in case you missed it, she's looking so good. This is Abby Acoho, um, a team member here. You can join my team. Uh, obje objectively, I think the strongest fish. Look at how knowledgeable she is about all of her weather with her cute icons here. Brian, I'm so worried about what you have on your screen. What is that? Well, I don't, well, it's going to be a reveal, isn't it? I need to put a little bit of fish food up here at the top. Oh, no. Here he comes. <laughs> Let's see here. Go. There he is. There he is. Oh, my gosh. There's Brian, uh, Brian Mackerel. You just got to, you, you got you know, he's, he's off doing other things here, getting all geared up for his uh, for his big <laughs> debut. No. He's got a pocket full of sunshine and, and a little soccer ball in there and a <laughs> microphone because he's got to interview all the other fish in the sea, right? Uh, yes. You can you can uh, check out my fish as well. You should uh, also check out Enviro Matt, who is Matt Smith's fish at the Nisqually River oh this God. weekend. All right, shall we? Look at that! Look at those cool fishes. That's a, the Nisqually. Isn't that neat? Kind of fun to have our our, uh, our uh, fishes look like us too. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Uh